So this was a summer course and it was only, like I said, 18 students, but this was the communication and new technology mm-hmm. class. So um, this was more upper division. The students were juniors and seniors. They were already comms majors for the most part. Um, and every day in the class, because it was Tuesday, Thursday, was basically a week's worth of content. So what I did is I had them do one question and two answers right in the middle of the week. They had to get them in by Wednesday at midnight. That gave me time before Thursday to, you know, review the questions and everything. But it was also a really unique way for them to either reflect on what we'd done in the last week or um, to sort of preview what we were doing in the next one. So some of the ways that I use this in class that I found to be really effective, we're using this as a basis for some of the in-class discussions. So each week, well, almost each week, I wouldn't do this every time, um, I would choose four questions from the list of all the questions that they had posted, and I would print them out on a piece of paper, and I would hand them to my four small groups in the class. I would ask them within their group to sort of discuss the question and then they would present what they were talking about. And if it turned into a larger debate, awesome, we did that. So this usually took us maybe like 20 minutes at the beginning of class, it was a three hour class, so we had time to spare. Um, I specifically focused on questions that either reviewed something that we had talked about in the previous discussion and you know brought up a really thoughtful point from that, or that did a really nice job previewing something that we were gonna be doing that day or questions that ask for really specific examples and ask them to sort of think about how these things applied in their real lives. So there were a lot of things that this did really nicely. Um, It was a great way to connect some of those online and offline discussions, particularly for those students who were otherwise too shy to speak up in class um, because they knew too many people, they didn't wanna be judged or something. So I was able to get them talking about things that they had discussed online and turn it into a larger discussion. Um, It was also a great reflection point, both for the topics and the online communication process. I mean, we were talking about what it felt like to use technology for interpersonal communication purposes, and that's essentially what we were doing on Packback. So it was a little meta, but it worked out really nicely. Uh, It was a good way to recognize students for really great questions. I made a conscious effort to like switch up whose questions I featured so that everybody kind of got that little ego boost. And I also made a point to never give the question to a group um, that somebody in that group had asked. So it sparked new questions, new debates um, to help them also realize that they weren't just answering questions online from people that were already in their groups. We got to engage with a little bit more discussion. One of the things that worked really nice in this is we had a much greater diversity of topics. If there's only 18 students in the class, they can see what other people are posting about and we started to see a little bit broader of a range. They weren't repeating the questions. So rather than seeing like, hey, there's a lot of people all focusing on this one issue, I got to see a much broader range and see like lots of different things that they were thinking about. I also learned from this that the timing of the post is really important. What I loved about this was the fact that it was kind of in the middle of the week and allowed them to both reflect on previous stuff and to preview some of the new things. If I were to do this again, um, I would still use it pretty regularly, but I don't know that I'd do it in every class period. I, I didn't do it in every class period last time, but I think that I really focused on doing it when there were good questions and they were meaningful to starting a discussion. So not just pushing it every time, but leaning back on it maybe once a week. Um, I might have perhaps pushed them to answer a couple more questions in that small of a class. I think they could have answered like three or four questions each week rather than just two. And I think that would have also pushed them to maybe answer questions from people that they didn't already know in the offline. Like I saw the two friends in the class would always comment on each other's. And I'm like, well, okay, talk to other people, you can do that. And by requiring more questions and more answers, I think I could have done that. Um, Another thing that didn't exist at that time when I used it, but Packpack has added as a new feature, was this use of the counter and supporting points. Um, I think I have a slide later that'll show you what that looks like, but a little bit more engaged and ask them to really support their arguments, which in an upper level course, they should be able to do. 